Well, it's fantastic to be back on home soil, back in WA, but it looks like I've brought that damn Victorian weather with me. I hope it doesn't rain, because I'm here with Robin from Pioneer Campus. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you, Robin. Mate, tell us, what camper have you got for us today? Oh, we've got the Argyle SE, which is our mid-range camper. Even though it's sitting in the middle of our range, it's a very, very popular camper and it's very well equipped. I'm keen to have a look at the outside of it, mate. Right let's yeah. get started, eh? Okay, let's go. Robin, we're up the business end, mate. I can see already there's a mob of storage up here. I noticed you've got a little pump tap down the front. Yes, that's a hand pump so yep. that you don't need to open up the camper to wash your hands. Yep. A couple of gas bottles, three jerry can holders. Beautiful, beautiful. And a huge, big storage compartment. Do you mind if I have a quick look in here? Most certainly. What's this down here, mate? We have a 120 amp hour deep cycle battery, a CTEC charger, voltage sensor relay, volt meter, 240 volt outlet, and fuse box. So even with all that packed there, you've still got well, a huge amount of storage there. Yeah, most certainly. Mate, I notice you've got a filler point here for the water tank. What's that actually going to? Uh, that's going to a 125 litre stainless steel water tank, rear mounted. Okay, that's a usable amount of water in rear so that you take a bit of weight off your ball. Most certainly, that's Brilliant. the plan. Robin, a couple of electrical outlets here. Explain these to me, mate. Uh, we've got a 1240 volt inlet, 1240 volt outlet, yep. plus a 12 volt outlet. So that uh, that's drawing the power straight from the 120 amp hour deep cycle battery. Uh-huh, so if you need to run anything outside here, lights, etc. etc. Not a problem. There's your little outlet. Yep. Brilliant, mate. Robin, let's jump down here, have a look at the uh, the under components. Yep. Tell us about that, mate. Righto, well the uh, suspension's an independent suspension of our own design. We're running um, hydraulic disc override brakes. Wheels and tyres we can match to suit most vehicles. The body is 1.2 zinc anneal um, powder coated and baked. The chassis is 50 by 100, 3 mil mild Australian steel. Robin, this is a dead giveaway to me. There must be a fridge in here, mate. There certainly is. Should we open it up and I'll yeah. show you? And what are these things? These are childproof locks, aren't they? They are, yes. <laughs> they got me. <laughs> this, this, this fridge area is designed to accommodate a 40 or a 50 litre fridge. We do a bigger gull wing, which will then accommodate a bigger fridge. You've got your 240 volt and 12 volt power points in there. This is a dustproof, waterproof area. Brilliant, mate, brilliant. Robin, I noticed while we're looking at the fridge, what's this little thing here? Well, this is an underbody um, storage locker. It's just a handy thing for storing sort of a bit of recovery gear, pegs, poles, hammers, tools, just... General, general items? Just a bit of dirty stuff. And there's one on the other side? Most certainly. Excellent, mate. Robin, impressed with the outside, lots of nooks and crannies. But how does it go up? I'm intrigued. Oh, it goes up very, very easy. Well, how about you show me? I'll certainly do that. All right, you get into it. Well, Robin, that didn't take you long at all, mate. No, it nice went quick. up very quickly. Tell me about the canvas. Right, it's an Australian wax converted dynaproof canvas. It's 10.9 on the walls, 14.9 on the roof. What a thick roof. What's the go with this here? Uh, this is a PVC window. Underneath you have your mesh and then inside you have your canvas privacy. So if you get caught in a bit of bad weather, you can have that and light coming into your canvas. Good into your camper. Good yep. thinking. I notice also that the floor is raised up and the legs are adjustable so you don't really even need to be on too little of ground, do you? No, not at all. And you can get adjustment on your jockey wheel as well. Okay. Now, welcome aboard. Ah, she's very spacious in here, Robin. Right? That's like the Taj, isn't it? It's, it's very roomy. Eh? Tell us about the features. Right here, we've got two LED lights in the front, yes. reading lights. We have very fine mesh on the windows, lovely big bed, queen size in length, yep. and good storage underneath the bed. So you put your suitcases in there. Most certainly, and it's on gas struts. Robin, I don't see a kitchen in here, mate. Does this model have a kitchen? It certainly has a kitchen. I'll shock you with how good it is. You're going to shock me with your kitchen? Yep, Well, that's certainly. a challenge. Let's go. Come this way. <laughs> Yeah. Where's the leg, mate? I'll put the leg down for you. No leg needed. Look at this. Well, you both, look at that. That is impressive. Tell me how it works, mate. Okay. You've got a three burner, burner smed stove here. Oh, yes, yes. And on your side, you can pull it out. You've got a cutlery drawer. Oh, haven't you? Oh, individual, too. Look at that. You've yeah. got a nice food preparation tray out the side. Oh, mop this place, yeah. And on your side over there, yeah. pops down, and you've got plenty of storage under there. Oh, your mom. Yeah, yeah. If anyone wants any more information on this model, because you've got quite a few in your range, where can they go? Uh, just go to our website, www.pioneercampus.com. Uh, you can fill out a, a form online and we'll either post your email or bro your brochure, but there's plenty of info on our website. Brilliant, mate. Thank you very much for coming out. Thank today. you for the day. Good on you. Yes.